It's been a while since I've done a uh, YouTube video about uh, one of my writing boxes. Um, I had a bit of time now, so I thought I'd make another one. Uh, this is one of the uh, more interesting boxes I have in my collection. It dates to about 1870 to about 1890. Uh, I have no idea where this one was made. Most likely in Europe or in England. Uh, and it probably would have come to uh, this country uh, with a migrant in the uh, late 1800s. Uh, at any rate, uh, this is a pretty fun, interesting box. Uh, most writing boxes were made for men. This one was made for women. Uh, which I believe makes it much rarer. Uh, I've only ever seen three other writing boxes like this one. And not a single one of them was in as good a condition as this one. Now, let's have a look. Uh, first thing to do is to unlock it. Like so. Then you turn the box around. Now, this is the writing surface. Here we have the inkwell. And then here we have the uh, storage compartment for spare nibs, for uh, sealing wax, money, whatever you want to put in there. And then here we have all the other stuff. Uh, here we have the bone folder. We have the wood case pencil. And we have the bone dip pen. Now this whole thing pops up like this and unfolds and it just sits there like that. Now here we have a pocket calendar for the Melbourne Savings Bank and it is dated 1891 as you can see and it's it's got the calendar inside it, as you can also see here. And it's also got all these cute little quotes and sayings and bits of advice and all that kind of stuff. So like here you have uh, all these ideas and all these tips about, and all these sayings and quotes and proverbs about how to be thrifty and how to save money and do all that kind of stuff. So. That's cool, a bit of uh, financial advice from, you know, 110, 120 years ago. So that just slips back in there like that. Uh, next piece we have is this, which is a tailor's order book. Uh, it's pretty hard to read this. It says, Little and Company High Class Tailors. And then the address is, I believe, 287 Burke Street, uh, which is Burke Street in Melbourne. So there's that. And then you've got more details on the back. Again, you know, the writing is really faded on this, so it's almost impossible to read. Let's see if I angle it properly. Yeah, there we go. Now you can read it. So you can see the prices and everything. Uh, it says, Marvelous Fit. And uh, the price is... 42 shillings, uh, which is quite a lot. Uh, 
back in the day, 42 shillings, that's, what is that, that's uh, two pounds, two shillings, which is quite a lot of money in uh, 1891. Uh, next item we have is considerably larger. It's this. Bring this out here. Just to adjust the camera a bit. There we go. This is a photograph album of the Australian Alps, is what it says on the cover. So here we've got all these uh, little photographs. There's no date on this uh, that I can see. But let's just go through it. And this one, it's up like that. There's this one. Then this folds out like this, so you've also got all that. So, there's that. So that just goes up there, adjust the camera again, there we go. Now, in here we have all these other little bits and pieces. We have uh, spare uh, dip pen holders. We have a, uh, I believe this is a pin cushion. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a pin cushion. Looks nice. Uh, this is your needle case. Uh, these little flaps of fabric is where you would stick all your needles in. You can see all the holes here. Uh, from where it's been used. So yeah, you'd stick all your needles, your sewing needles, your darning needles, all that kind of stuff would go in here. Very nice. Then, around the back. Now, of the three examples of this type of box that I have seen, uh, some will have this panel filled out. Uh, none of the ones which I have seen have their original glass inkwell. Uh, but none of them, which I have ever seen, have all this stuff at the back. Uh, and this is all original to the box. I didn't go out and buy it individually. This all came with it. So what we have at the top is uh, crochet yarn. Uh, for crocheting and knitting and all that kind of stuff and repairing clothing. Uh, that's very nice. Then what we have here, uh, all this white stuff, all this white stuff up the top, all this is all, uh, this is all ivory. Uh, so what we have here is a nail file for filing your nails and keeping them neat. Next door we have a button hook for doing up the buttons on your gloves, on your boots. Then we have a steel crochet hook. Then we have a ivory uh, page turner and paper knife. Then we have an ivory handled awl or hole puncher. And then next to that, we have a second uh, crochet hook, uh, which is this one here. Very nice. So yeah, these were used by women, and uh, the box, the uh, accessories here at the back were basically, you know, what women carried around in those days, you know, for repairing clothes, for getting dressed, for doing their nails, all that kind of stuff. Uh, very nice. Um, so yeah, in conclusion, a late Victorian, fully equipped ladies' writing case from about 1870 to 1880, 1890. If you want to see more of the stuff which I 
collect and write about and blog about, then please visit my blog. The link is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.